Well, people aren't just looking for ways to reduce costs at home this winter. They're also looking to save money when they get behind the wheel. Yeah, of course, we've seen record-breaking gas prices this year, making the switch to an electric vehicle more appealing. But we wanted to know how they hold up in our New England winters. So we sent WBZ's Brianna Pitts to find out. Here in New England, we're used to weathering some tough storms, and we can be just as tough behind the wheel. But does our ability to commute in the cold change if you swap your gas tank for a lithium-ion battery? When you're driving a gas-powered vehicle, you don't have to worry about losing range because it's like 20 below zero. It's not quite that cold here, but some days it feels like it. We met up with Kathleen Connors, president of Voltrek, a Lawrence-based company that installs thousands of electric vehicle charging stations around New England. So then it releases. Connors has been driving EVs like for more than a decade, volts. two volts, a bolt, and a Tesla. So she knows a thing or two oh, about how they perform in the winter. She says the number one thing drivers need to worry about is range. So the colder it is, the more um, uh, range you're going to lose. It depends on the vehicle. We've seen as much as 20% reduction. It, depend, it literally depends on the temperature out that day. Research by AAA found an EV's driving range can drop up to 41% when it's 20 degrees and the car's heat is on full blast. Connor says newer models with larger batteries tend to do better in the cold, so keep that in mind if buying used. But she says there is an something. easy solution no matter what make and model you drive. Drive. Plug the vehicle in overnight. Um, if you plug it in, it's actually conditioning the vehicle batteries. You don't have to leave it like an ice box in there, but it's more efficient if you use the heated seats and if you have a heated steering wheel and just, you know, don't blast the hot air the whole time. And unlike a gas-powered vehicle that loses fuel while sitting in traffic, EVs actually gain range the slower they go. Connor says turning up the car's regenerative braking will help too. If you set the regenerative braking higher, it'll generate more miles for you in the winter. You're going to lose the range, but you're not losing any power from it. It's the same. So you're getting through the snow. Oh yeah, not a problem. And there's a lot of these vehicles are, you know, four-wheel drive. So this is four-wheel drive vehicle. So it's not a problem in the snow at all. And it is very heavy from the battery weight, so I feel like that stabilizes the vehicle more. And to make going electric more affordable, the state is offering rebates, like $3,500 for a newer used EV, an extra $1,000 if trading in a combustion engine, and an extra $1,500 for low-income residents. Connor says you can also charge your EV at home with a simple wall plug. It costs her about an extra $60 to $70 a month on her electric bill. And there's lots of resources and apps to help you find charging stations. ChargePoint, PlugShare, and Tesla all have apps that can help you find a charging station just like this one. Brianna Pitts, WBZ News.